Hello! Hi my efforts. I hope you're doing great and that your English is being perfected. Today we're going to learn other ways you could say I'm sorry. See you! Welcome my efforts. I hope you're ready to yep 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 your English. So it's very important for you to understand that over apologizing could be negative for you, okay? Il est très important d'être poli, mais parfois à trop s'excuser, ça peut donner une image négative de nous-mêmes. Les études ont déjà prouvé que les femmes avaient la tendance à trop s'excuser comparé aux hommes. Et quelqu'un qui s'excuse trop euh, peut démontrer un certain sentiment de culpabilité et de honte, okay? You could look like someone who is guilty guilty and a shame when you're always using I'm sorry. Mais utiliser d'autres alternatives comme thank you peut envoyer un message différent, un message plus de gratitude, um, un message de empowerment, ok? Une personne puissante, de self-confidence, de confiance en vous. Et cela peut vous aider à vous-même booster votre estime de vous-même. Alors aujourd'hui, on va voir cinq différentes façons de s'excuser sans utiliser I'm sorry. Are you ready? Let's get started! Number one, to express empathy or to demonstrate compassion okay instead of just saying i'm so sorry you got late because traffic was terrible you could say how frustrating that you were late because okay my efforts number two when you're in a conversation or you're discussing with someone and you want to interrupt that person okay if you're in a discussion and you want to interrupt that person to you express it or put the accent on a point instead of using i'm sorry to interrupt Vous pouvez plutôt utiliser great point, but I'd like to add, ou alors I'd like to expand on. Okay, my efforts, let's go to point number three. When you want to express something and you know that it's going to be upsetting, okay? You know that this is not something very nice to hear. Vous voulez exprimer quelque chose, mais vous savez que c'est pas quelque chose de très agréable à entendre. Au lieu d'utiliser sorry et dire I'm sorry if this is offending or if this is hurting, vous pouvez plutôt utiliser what I'm gonna say might be controversial, but etc. Okay, my efforts, let's move on. Fourth situation where you might use sorry. You want to fill air, okay? Vous voulez remplir un trou. Vous savez pas quoi dire. You lost your train of thought, okay? Vous avez perdu le fil de vos idées. Et vous êtes là, uh, sorry. Um, like, um, what I mean? No, no, no. Ce que vous pouvez faire, what you could do, is just get silent. Mm -hmm. It's better to get silent than saying, uh, sorry, uh, you would look like you're stressed. And you don't want to look stressed. You want to look confident, okay? So just be silent, get your ideas back, okay? Get back to your notes and then continue speaking. Let's move forward. Fifth alternative to just saying, I'm sorry. When you are late, okay? You were supposed to be somewhere on time and you got there late. Instead of saying, sorry, I'm late, you could express gratitude by saying, thank you for being so patient, okay? But I have to say, there are some times where you do have to use Sorry, okay? Donc, quand vous êtes en retard, au lieu d'utiliser Sorry, I'm late, vous pouvez dire merci de votre patience en exprimant de la gratitude. Mais j'avoue qu'il y a des fois où nous sommes obligés, okay, d'utiliser Sorry. Vous pouvez utiliser Sorry, excuse me, pardon me. Voilà, my efforts for today. N'oubliez pas, your words are powerful. Use them wisely. Vos paroles sont puissantes, alors utilisez-les avec sagesse. This is it for today, my efforts. Don't forget to, yep, you can do it too. Just take action. Bye.